2020, the end of the world. What are your skills, Victoria, for the apocalypse? How do you save us? Victoria. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, save you, apocalypse. I, I barely survived not the end of the world. I don't- I have no fucking idea. I wanted to make a disclaimer for this video before it even started and telling you that during this time I really had no choice but to travel back home and I don't want you guys to be upset that I was traveling during this time because it wasn't travel for tourist, touristy stuff or fun or anything, it's just I needed to get home. Travel and being around people right now is not good and I'm not, I don't think that you should and I wish that I wouldn't, that I would have left earlier but I just wasn't aware and knowledgeable enough, I didn't know what was going to happen everything is very unknown and I don't want you guys to be upset that I traveled during this time this is just the experience that I had that was very you know classic Victoria where I have no idea what's going on I hope you guys stay safe and um, here's the video I love you the last time we left off I was in London this adventure starts in London and then ends somewhere new all right let's try and what is it called Lola's cupcakes for the first time things with the virus were getting bad at this point I got the raspberry chocolate. Um, and I was trying to keep high morale. This was so good. But it was really difficult. I'm getting out of the chocolate off my bed. <laughs> oh, they have the cream on the inside. And then it finally got to the point where the UK went into complete lockdown. I haven't been vlogging or doing anything much, really. I mean, I did have a cupcake today. They're um, enforcing complete lockdown now. I've been really low lately. Um, not just even with the virus stuff, but with other things. I'm just really emotional lately because I'm so alone, and I so did. And I didn't. I never planned for this to happen, and nobody did. Nobody knew this was gonna happen, and I don't even know if I can even get home at this point. It's like late now, and it's locked down, and I thought that you know coming to London could be a fresh start and everything and you know what I thought it's gonna get like this probably everywhere this is just it started it whatever's happened whatever happens in Italy is happening to us now and just life is has completely defeated everything that I have like I'm finally here and I have to go back and I'm not making money you know I'm, like I think everybody is struggling with these things too isolation not knowing when things will ever change. Because once I get back to America, whatever's happening here is just gonna be just as bad there too. Because I just really need like love right now. I could handle this. My heart were fucking demolished. It's been hard being in this country and being alone like this. So I'm gonna go back home. I'm just waiting for this one package from a sponsorship to arrive. I've been waiting for it for a really long time. I need the money from it. I need it. But it's, they said that I might not get here for another week. And I don't know if the border will still be open for me in another week. I'm sorry for being a baby. I, I can't handle things very well lately. Later that night, I decided to just book the plane ticket and go home without my package. I booked the plane ticket for the next day and then half my flight got cancelled so I tried calling but the lines were so busy. I was finally able to book a different flight for the next day after the first flight but it had a nine hour layover. I got a bunch of reduced eggs uh, the other day at the store. They're like 0.10 pounds. I don't know how you'd say that. So I'm just gonna live off of those and protein shake until I leave tomorrow. I like to create because it's just an escape from life. And I don't know, I think it's um, like normal life is really hard for me to handle and that's I think why I'm always in this alternate reality. Sometimes you have to face your reality. And that's what I have a really hard time doing. I really hope that none of my flights get canceled again because I need to just go. I just need to be home already. My whole life has changed now. That's the adventure.
I'm not wearing any makeup today because I'm gonna be in the airport for 10 million years and I don't I don't want to wear makeup, so I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, time to go to the airport again. I was just there. <laughs> it's full 180. I'm back to Pennsylvania. Oh, wow, what an adventure. She totally just, she she always keeps you guessing where she's gonna. I don't know, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a nine hour layover. Uh, part of my flight got canceled, just a big mess. It's, it's so weird to be in such a big city, but it's like a ghost city. Although I was in London for a short period of time, I still got to see some cool things and I'm really grateful for that. It seems like a really nice city and someday I'd like to come back when this is all over. There were still people traveling, but the planes were pretty empty both times. They did give a cute little tea basket at the end of the flight. I just had to show it because I thought it was adorable. But the scone and the clotted cream, it's the last taste of London I'm gonna get for a while. Once we got off the plane into New York City, they took our temperature and gave us a card when we passed. That was the extent of the health check. So there's so many flights canceled. I look disgusting right now. I'm so tired. I was gonna try to do like some sort of airport workout or something. I'm tired. <laughs> anymore tonight so I will catch up with you in the morning I'm disgusting I haven't slept for so long but I'm here I'm in Pittsburgh I'm here. I'll see you in the morning hello <laughs> I'm here I finally made it after nearly 24 hours of traveling it was nearly 24 hours it, it was a really long time and I finally made it I'm home um, I have to keep my distance though it's a, I'm gonna have to self quarantine for like two weeks since I've been traveling. And it's actually proving really, really difficult. I have to like keep like six feet apart from them. And I'm trying to like sanitize all the doorknobs and stuff. I, I'm really grateful because they recently built this shed like right beside the house. It has electricity and um, internet and everything in it, but they're letting me stay in it while I'm here, which is basically moved back home so I don't know how long that's gonna be and she even set out my my dress that I wore as a child and my doll that I had as a child it's so sweet and then she also put this um, plant right here she said it'll, it'll smell really good when it blooms it's my dress I wore this obsessively every single day and she made it too every day look at it little stains from little Tori <laughs> And then this was my doll. My um, stepdad, I guess you could say, is making me a desk to go in here, which will be really nice to edit on. And there are baby chickens, there are baby lambs, there's a goat. So I'm gonna work out because I haven't been to the gym or worked out in a very long time. Yeah, so this, this all was really unexpected and I wouldn't have come home otherwise if this wouldn't have happened, but I think I needed to. I think a lot of people have told me that too that I couldn't just keep traveling, especially with, you know, the issues that have been going on inside me and things just kept getting worse and worse and it's best to, I think, heal here and accept that it's not a bad thing to come back home sometimes. And I was just, I don't know, I, I think I was just running away from that because I wanted to make it on my own and I wanted to be strong and keep going, but I think this will be best and it'll be, be it'll be good to travel again after this when I'm fully healed and ready to. So maybe this is all a good thing and I wanna really see the positives out of it. And I wanna disclaim that I would not have traveled to the UK 
during the time that I did, knowing that this was going to happen, like I, I'm not trying to spread the virus around. I'm gonna make a disclaimer real quick for the beginning of the video here, because I know a lot of people will be upset. I thought that I could just wait it out in the UK, but once the UK went on complete lockdown, I'm like, this isn't gonna stop anytime soon. I had to flee my Airbnb. I left like halfway, like I didn't even get to use it halfway, so I'm trying to get a refund from that. But I'm really grateful that I can be out in the country and go outside and not infect anyone. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm really grateful right now. Like, I'm so grateful and it feels so good to feel so grateful with my family because I've been so... I've been trying to be strong, but th so many things have happened. This can be my home for now. That I have some sort of home. Because I had thought I had lost that. I'm feeling good right now. I know I'll be up and down a billion more times as I always do. And um, just comment below what you guys are experiencing, what you guys are going through, because we still need community even though we have to be isolated right now. So I'm going to put all this together. Um, the next vlog will maybe be some some uh, shots of some cool things. I'm going to go outside and walk around a little bit and then make a disclaimer for this video. I love you guys very much. And, you know, stay isolated, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.